<laughs> hey guys, the Basic Brick here. Today you're going to be doing a commentary, uh, not a live one today, just a, a pre-recorded one. This one's going to be my uh, Team Fortress 2 hot takes. I know it's been a bit uh, since I last uploaded, but I'll put in the description uh, the reason why. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into my spicy opinions on this game. First of all, I don't like the name Trollger. I, I really don't. It boils down a really complicated and advanced playstyle um, into just like a haha funny meme when, you know, there's a lot more to it. Now, let's get this straight. I like doing a little trolling from time to time in Team Fortress 2. I like being annoying, I like being weird, I like doing gimmicky loadouts, and yes, of course, Mark your Garden Rocket Jumper Soldier is a gimmick. However, it's a gimmick that takes a lot of skill, a lot of practice, and like there's a ton of advanced techniques that go into it. Not just techniques that come from rocket jumping, but shit like uh, bunny hopping to be able to jump and then still get the Market Gardener. It's like a frame perfect thing, and I just think it's a little bit disingenuous to just call this playstyle Trollger. Like, when I kill someone with the Mark Gardener, I'm not trying to troll them. I'm just trying to, you know, have fun and look cool. Okay, this one is probably the one that I'm going to piss off the most people with. Because this is a pretty sensitive issue in the um, Team Fortress 2 community. And that's friendlies. I really do not like friendlies. Call me a tryhard. Call me a buzzkill. I just find friendlies to be incredibly annoying. And here's why, especially right now. I've been searching for games, okay? I keep getting into games with bots, and I finally, finally queue into a server. I'm like, all right, you know what? Ah, I'm gonna select soldier. I'm gonna rocket jump around. I'm gonna bomb people. This is gonna be amazing. And I get into the server, and it's just a bunch of fuckers dancing, okay? That is so obnoxious. I mean, I've had entire servers turn into a dance party. It's just ridiculous. Now, obviously, friendlies are a part of Team Fortress 2 that I find to be kind of charming, you know? They're, they're, they're kind of funny. If You know, sometimes I'll see a Hoovy, like, walk into a sentry nest and get just absolutely obliterated. Like, that's kind of funny. Or a Hoovy, I don't know, like, someone high-fiving just out of nowhere. Like, that kind of stuff to me is pretty funny. However, when the entire server turns friendly, or when there's a bunch of friendlies on each team... It can really just slow down a game, and at that point, you're basically wasting server slots. Especially when there's servers that exist that are entirely dedicated just to being friendly, messing around, and, you know, having fun, chatting with people, just having a good time. And I feel like people should be going to those servers instead of taking casual matches, turning them into dance parties. I personally don't like killing friendlies, mainly because, well... They're not fun to kill because they don't fight back. I find just killing, like, defenseless people in video games just not fun. There's no, you know, there's no skill involved with it. Even, like, killing a brainless, like, person who just installed the game. Like, even that has a little more high stakes than, you know, killing a gibbous heavy who's throwing sandwiches at people. I just don't find friendlies to be that funny. It's a pretty tired thing, and... They do, a lot of times, really slow down matches, or outright ruin matches. One thing I see a lot when I'm playing in just, you know, casual pubs and help, even community servers, is people complaining about Pyro saying that he's overpowered or is, you know, too good. Which is just... weird. Even after the Jungle Inferno update, which did fix a lot of the bugs that kind of hurt Pyro, Pyro still is a pretty weak class compared to some others in my eyes. He f fills a pretty niche role as a uh, area denial class, as somewhat of a support class as well as a DPS class. I mean, he has a he has a weird play style, and I think people conflate Pyro being annoying, which he is very annoying. Pyro is the most annoying class in the game in my eyes. I mean, there's shit like the Scorch Shot, Afterburn. Just don't get me started, okay? I think Pyro is incredibly annoying, and I personally don't even find him that fun to play. However, he isn't overpowered. It's pretty damn easy to kill a Pyro, especially a Pyro in a pub. Of course, there's those Pyros that, you know, have, like, the biggest brain in the world and, you know, can calculate a reflected rocket at a perfect degree just for it to come back and kill you and your entire team. Obviously, you know, there's those really good Pyro mains, but... 
Pyro in general I find to be pretty easy to kill. You know, you walk backwards and shoot. The only class that Pyro can, like, kind of completely deny is Demo Man. And even then, I mean, most Pyros just kind of walk into your sticky bombs. Pyro gets absolutely decimated by classes like Heavy and Engineer, you know, with a sentry gun up. I just don't think Pyro's this really terrifying, overpowered class that I feel like a lot of newer players especially complain about. Hey guys, are you ready for conspiracy time? Yeah, ooh, you know, it's about to get spoopy in here. It's about to get a little serious. It's, you better hold on to your pants, bucko, because it's gonna get scary. Okay, in all seriousness though, um, this is less of an unpopular opinion and more just a little conspiracy theory that I have about uh, Valve and the bot crisis. I personally think Valve isn't doing anything about the bots because the bots still make them profit. Okay, so let's take some of the most prolific bots, at least that are on um, American servers, the Waffen SS bots, you know, the ones that are most likely created by some cryptocurrency 16 year old who plays Hearts of Iron 4 in his free time. These bots actually buy hats from the Team Fortress 2 store so that they can get uh, a pay-to-play account and use uh, text chat and just fill it up. Think. I mean, you really gotta think about this. The only anti-bot thing that Valve added, which, geez, almost happened a year ago at this point, was making it so if you don't pay for the game, you can't talk. That was the only fix they did. There's nothing. They have done nothing else. And I really do think that they aren't doing anything because they're still making money. Not only are bots sometimes paying for shit from the store, but also people like hell, even me, are still, you know, trading weapons, still getting stuff from the market from time to time. Valve is still making a profit off of Team Fortress 2, so they have no reason to update the game. They have no reason to find a way to stop these bots, even though these bots are open source projects. You can go online and look at what's going on. Valve could easily fix this issue, but they're not. And I really do think it comes down to one, laziness, and two, the fact that they're still making money. They're still making bank. There's no reason for them to stop. And it it really makes me want Valve to just hand over the Team Fortress 2 development to a third-party company. I know recently there was like an interview released with Gabe Newell in New Zealand saying that, oh yeah, Team Fortress 2, it'll get updates in the future, but... Let's be real here. Valve said that Half-Life 3 was going to come out, you know, 14 years ago. They've been talking about it for 14 years, okay? That's when they announced that, you know, Half-Life 3 was going to be a thing. Episode 3 was going to be a thing. Valve constantly goes back on their promises. So I'm just... I am very negative when it comes to Valve at, at this current time. I know this might be a bit of a, you know, Debbie Downer thing, but... Man, I, I really do think Valve is letting this bot crisis happen because, again, they're not losing money from it. Alright, after that depressing, sad, little conspiracy theory that I had, I, I, wanna, I wanna lighten the mood a little bit. You guys can see me get very angry about a change that happened three years ago, basically. Over three years ago now. Uh, and that is the panic attack change. Now, the old panic attack... Uh, not the panic attack that when it first came out. When it first came out, it was pretty much unusable, you know. But after it got a few buffs to make it so, you know, it actually was a usable weapon. It was my favorite weapon in the game. It surpassed the Market Gardener as my favorite unlockable weapon in Team Fortress 2. I I'm being serious here. A professional killstreak panic attack was like the first professional killstreak weapon I decided to get because I loved it so much. It was a beggar's bazooka shotgun. It was the goofiest thing ever. No other video game had a weapon like this. And it really made you be able to do a bunch of crazy alternate play styles, like as the pyro. Uh, it was a cool alternate. If you want to play Fat Scout, you can uh, turn around a corner and just unload four rapid fire shotgun blasts into, I don't know, a sniper's face. <laughs> It was so much fun. Yeah, it wasn't as good as the stock shotgun. Yeah, it wasn't, you know, better than the Rescue Ranger on Engineer. But it was a really, 
really fun and unique weapon that, in my eyes, kind of embodied Team Fortress 2 in the way where it was just unusual, it was weird, it was very creative, but it was also very fun. And then Jungle Inferno came around, and I mean, yeah, the panic attack's technically better now. It's technically even better than the stock shotgun when playing on servers without fixed weapon spread. I mean, it's... It's a good weapon! Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I am... I am very angry about this change. Yeah, I know it's a better weapon now. Yeah, I know it was probably better for the game, but come on, Valve. You couldn't have just, I don't know, made the reserve shooter the modern panic attack, you know? It was already a stat swap. You could have given it to Heavy and Engineer and just gave it the panic attack stats. I mean, you kind of killed it on Pyro anyway. Nobody uses a reserve shooter anymore, so... Oh, man. I'm gonna miss the whole panic attack. I'm gonna miss my child. They massacred my boy. Valve, damn you. All right, this is gonna be a quicker spot, but it's uh, basically a pretty big and uh, pretty widespread opinion in the Team Fortress 2 community that Sniper needs a nerf. Sniper's too powerful, he's too good. A good player Sniper can shut down a server and to an extent, I agree with that. However, a lot of the community's fixes to Sniper punish everybody playing Sniper. For instance, uh, I think it was Creators.tf in their balance uh, changed mode or something like that. I could be completely wrong. They made it so Sniper did 140 damage with a quick scope headshot, and you know, so you couldn't insta kill medics. And there's other ideas like, oh, give him less ammo so he has to relocate. Even though Sniper already has to relocate a bunch of times. If you stand in the same place as Sniper, you are going to die. Because people are going to notice you after, I don't know, a couple headshots and you're going to die, okay? I personally think, um, and I'm this isn't a unique opinion of mine, that Sniper should just have a nerf to instant quickscoping. Sniper can quickscope in under, like... He can quickscope so fast that nobody can react to it, and that's really the issue, is it doesn't give other players going against the sniper a chance to react. Uh, Zesty Jesus, uh, another Team Fortress 2 YouTuber, made a great video on this. I'll link it in the description. He's a much bigger YouTuber than me, obviously, but uh, pretty much sums up my opinion on sniper nerfs. Now, this subject, this opinion of mine, is probably my most heated one like even more heated than some of the other ones and that's why i'm gonna actually in the future make a separate video about it yeah i really really hate weapon skins and the whole tiered item system that was brought over from csgo i think it ruins uh team fortress 2's uh cosmetic system completely it's a mess now i think i think war paints and all that shit the fact that they can be applied to unlockable weapons can make it hard to distinguish what weapons what from a far distance. Like, I don't know if that's a Scorch Shot or a, you know, Flare Gun, or is that, you know, like, what shotgun is that? Is that a Panic Attack? You know? Like, at, like a, a long distance, it can really obscure stuff. I think it is incredibly gaudy, and this is coming from someone who loves Australian weapons. A lot of the skins just look like utter shit. Um, like, Counter-Strike skins aren't, like, my biggest thing in the world, but I, in that game, I'll say, there's some good-looking skins. In Team Fortress 2, there are barely any good-looking skins. They just really don't meld well with the game. Uh, I'll, you know, I'll get into this in a separate video, but I just really fucking hate weapon skins and tiered hats and the whole case system, okay? TF2 is not a case game. It's a crate game. I will die on this hill. <laughs> I actually genuinely don't know how controversial this one is, mainly because I know a lot of people who just hate Spy, like, really hate Spy. I'm personally in between. Spy can be really annoying, but I find him very fun to play, especially on, like, certain maps that there's a lot of places to, you know, hide around. Anyway, that's besides the point. I personally think Spy needs a buff. Spy, over the years, I think has got progressively worse, um, not just due to weapon nerfs and, you know, that is one of the things, but just the fact that I feel like over the years, people have gotten more and more aware of Spy's tricks. This 
the one flaw with this class really is that disguises a lot of the time they don't fool people sometimes they do but a lot of the time they don't and they're just kind of a way you know to get up to a sentry without getting killed by it i personally think spy is being bullied by valve and has been bullied by valve uh, a lot of weapons have been added that just completely nullify him stuff like the power jack or not the power jack the uh home wrecker which like Come on, man. <laughs> I know Pyro's like a cool subclass, but Pyro's already so good at countering Spy. You give him a weapon that makes it so his zappers are just basically useless. Yeah, I, I personally think Spy needs a buff. One of the big things is that the Ambassador should be reverted back to its uh, pre-Jungle Inferno self. The Ambassador nerf was, I think, one of the worst nerfs in the entire game. Um, it took a weapon that was really fun to use, that took a lot of skill to use. It was a pistol that could do headshots you know a lot more skill to use the ambassador than the sniper rifle and this is coming from someone whose second most played class is sniper okay and spy is not even close to my most played class they kept the diamond back too which i think just adds insult to injury with that weapon not having damage fall off on its criticals and just getting criticals from backstabs that's the only thing i think spy should have nerfed at this current time is the diamond back but yeah a lot of spies weapons just are kind of shit like the Enforcer, for instance. I mean, its gimmick doesn't even work half the time. It's, like, bugged. I personally think Spy should get a little buff. I know I've said that many times. I repeat myself. That's just kind of something I do. Anyway, I think the uh, Spy Sprint ability from um, Team Fortress 2 Classic, which allows Spy to go his normal speed, will disguise as, like, a Heavy or a Soldier, any class that walks slower than a Spy. I really like that idea. It would allow Spy to get across the map quicker, and um, also allow Spy to, you know, use different disguises. Because most of the time people just disguise as like Scout because his hitbox is smaller. Or like they'll disguise as another Spy so that they can go the same speed. I personally think the community has some great ideas for Spy buffs. Alright guys, that'll be it. Uh, before I end the video, I want to say a couple things. First of all, all this shit is just my opinion. If I uh, hurt a few pe people's feelings and stuff, I'm sorry. That's not the point of this video. This video is just meant to be fun. A lot of it is just me getting angry at tiny little shit in pretty much my favorite game of all time. I know some of these might not have been super hot takes. Some of them might have not even really been takes in the first place. But I really did want to make this video and I hope it was engaging. And if you disagree with me, that's good. I, I want you to tell me why. Alright guys, uh, I hope you liked this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it too. I'm the Basic Brick and I'm out. Have a nice day.